So if you're coming by car to Brighton, your best bet is to come down the M23 if you're coming from the north. Uh, the marina itself is actually to the east of the town and you want to try and avoid Brighton, uh, the town itself, if you can. There's good transport links. The buses run pretty frequently along the coast road to the marina. Another option is to cycle as well, which I did when I came here. Uh, this video is actually brought to you by Fishbrain, which is a, a fishing app. It's a bit like an Instagram app for fishing. Uh, it's a little bit cynical at first, but actually it's what brought me to Brighton Marina. Because when you look at all those little dropped pins there, you're looking at a screenshot of my phone. Each of those green pins are somebody's fish that they've caught. So it's a fantastic record uh, of what's been caught here at the marina. There's a pollock, uh, a dover sole there as well. So you can click on the individual fish. We'll go into uh, how to download and use this later, but... You see it's got very specific marks all along the uh, arm there, the east arm. And you can just drag it along, pick out a, a green pin. Uh, there's a dogfish on there. Or you can click on the actual uh, marina itself and then scan through all the different pictures of the fish. Uh, it's got a bit mixed up with some of the cart ones there. I was a little bit cynical about this app, but it's actually really good. Uh, particularly for a venue like Brighton. Uh, they've had Black Bream here as well. Uh, first port of call, as I always say, would be the Tackle Shop. Uh, it's called the Tackle Box here on the marina. Well worth a visit. Good supplies of um, bait and information. Uh, and it's actually in here, this building here, which is in the marina complex. So it's, it's called the Tackle Box. It's only a small little shop, but it's well worth a visit. It's in this new Marina Square building. It's like boutique buildings, but as you come in, just go round to the left. He's over there in the corner. Opens at about seven o'clock. And they actually provide all the information and the ticketing and stuff for the piers. So they, they come and get your ticket once you're fishing. And your usual supply of uh, everything you'd need to fish the marina. So once you've been to the fishing shop, uh, you need to make your way to the east arm. Uh, at the moment, Presently in 2019, in, in April, the other arm is not open. Uh, the extension is only open intermittently on the east arm. So making your way to the east, east arm, obviously you've just got to head as you're facing the sea to the left there. You can go through the main service road through the marina. You can actually cut through up here uh, to take you along into the inner harbour. It's just like a nicer way to walk or cycle through. Failing that, you can actually drive to the end here if there's two of you, drop the rods off, drop the equipment off, and then go back and park in the multi-storey. And actually, the entrance to the east arm is quite an intriguing little spot, and I think that's an underrated bass spot there, which you can see when you look at that reef. So you can actually cast to that from the beach or from the marina, although you will be fishing over some pretty big boulders there couple of uh, ways down as well if you're not going to go to the tackle shop. Fishing charges, pretty self-explanatory there. One rod, four pounds, two for a fiver. If you do want the third rod, it's another three quid. And also, they do do night fishing there, but do check ahead at the tackle shop, see if that's on. Certain conditions, they won't have people out on the marina. That's the inner harbour. Can't fish it at the moment. Uh, not that you'd really want to, I don't think. All that boat traffic. So what we're doing here, that view's taking you along the pegs. They start with a low, low number bays or pegs, and they move round that knuckle, and then it straightens out onto the wall there. As for popular spots, sort of 20 onwards for mixed fishing. Uh, the lower numbers tend to be where the squid anglers congregate, and there's plenty of spots there, uh, plenty of space between anglers, place anglers like that flat section there as it moves round towards the west and it is closed off at the moment although I understand they've been doing some work there that may it may reopen what we're looking at there is the uh, the other arm the other side can be popular with the mackerel anglers in the summer uh, but at present that's not open either that's undergoing some repairs but if you have a look in underneath the video, I should be able to update you with what's going on. It's also a very good Facebook page, actually, uh, for Brighton Marina. Check them out on Facebook. Uh, so this is where I chose to fish, actually. Uh, recommended uh, around about Bay 20. There's a knuckle that moves round to the west, so the further you, you look at that picture sort of thing. 
uh, further it moves around um, again back to the the fish brain app that took me to there because I, I'd seen that there was some squid being caught there as well as place you don't really need a rod rest here uh, but you will need something to stop your rod um, scraping up on the concrete I just tend to put a little towel down there, but there are obviously lots of lift. There are obviously different contraptions you can use to keep your rod safe. If you look at the end of that rod tip there, the tide's running east to west and it runs east to west constantly. You're into a good body of water, um, but you will need grip leads. Uh, three ounce can be okay. We fish quite a big tide. Um, you've got these like weird little bays here. So as for tackle, um, I I had the normal beach standard beach caster on on one and like a bass rod, and it did hold bottom with a three ounce lead. But you've got a variety. If you're after the squid, you can obviously fish a bit lighter. Float fishing's possible here. What we're doing is we're walking along the bay numbers. This is bay 24. You see how they um, sort of spray paint it on the wall. Uh, so you always know, you know, if someone says, you know, number of whatever's fishing well, you can always check that out. Um, and it holds quite a lot of anglers here, so you will be able to find a space. This is the inner harbour. It's got like a walkway at the top, which keeps anglers away from dog walkers, uh, which is not a bad thing, or vice versa. Usual dangers. Um, I wouldn't climb up on that wall either. It's fast running tides. Uh, it's a really pleasant venue to fish. I actually found um, people were quite friendly. No fishing on the inner wall. And I caught a couple of smooth hounds while I was there. They're all being released. Um, we'll have a look how we use those on the Fish Brain app in a minute. Uh, as I say, it is a sponsored video, but um, I'll give you my honest opinions about this Fish Brain app because it actually is really good and Brighton Marine is a good example of it working well. Uh, there's a drop net that we didn't need on the day. <laughs> As for states of the tide, uh, what worked well for me uh, was over the top of the tide. So as for the rigs, uh, your usual rigs really, whatever you want to use for the place, whether that's a loop rig, uh, three hook flappers are quite a good place to start. I always drop a pulley rig down for the bass as well. Um, beads in the clearer conditions here, you get some really good place and I actually saw a decent flounder while I was here. so. Yeah, those would be the main rigs really flappers you don't really need to um, clip your baits down because you want to be casting away from the wall but you don't need to power cast you know really big casts and pendulum castings banned here anyway i try and keep it nice and simple you see on those rods there that's just the tide uh, taking that so it's just the pressure of the tide on the um, braid that I've got on. A little bit of boat traffic as well you'll find, but they don't come along the outside wall, only really on the inside wall, and then the boys take the, f the um, boats really wide. So you've got a nice spot just for you. And that swell there, that is the, um, the tide running. So yeah, I'd, I'd suggest if you're fishing here, uh, fish a couple of rods, maybe drop one short, and by short I don't mean down the bottom of the wall, but a, a fair old cast out, and then the other one at distance. Uh, oh, there we go, there was a smooth hound on there. Got the photo and that one went back. So the, the smooth hound do run a bit bigger. Uh, because of the sponsorship from Fish Brain, I'm taking a few photos, and it's quite easy to upload those to the app. Uh, you take a photo of the fish. The Fish Brain app actually um, notices that you've got fish pictures on your phone uh, and it will sort of drop a hint to upload them so this one here obviously notice I had a flounder called it a golf flounder a bit of an Americanism there but I think the the software learns uh, what fish you get so you can correct it 
and then once you've got your fish you can choose the location so here's me on the left hand there that's that's my phone and then you just drop a pin where you've caught the fish and drag it along because we were right up here I'm being quite accurate on here uh, so you can see where I caught that flounder and it drops a pin for you in there so this is a great reference actually for your own fishing you can actually have all the fish that you've caught uh, drop a pin for it and importantly as well you can keep things private I've got a few bass that I've caught uh, where I've done a rough mark of where they were but obviously not the exact spot and then you can put in the pounds and ounces uh, all these fish are catch and release as well so um, once I've taken the fit, uh, picture it goes back and you can add little comments and a little bit like Instagram really people can make comments you can look at other people's fish as well so it's quite a good one to um, uh, look at what everyone else is doing as well uh, but I would encourage you to download it and um, as I say although they're sponsoring us uh, it did take me by surprise it's actually quite a good little app and I'll certainly be putting my fish on there you can see we just um, add in a few more details to this you can confirm the species obviously the bait that you've used and set the time as well so over time particularly with your own catches you can find the best sort of time that's producing the species you want to catch and take uh, everyone else's catches with a little bit of pinch of salt um, but generally generally it should help you catch more and there we go I'm actually on fish brain if you want to follow me on the fish brain app I'm down there as a saltwater angler UK uh, and you can have a little nose at where I've caught the fish and hopefully you'll download it and uh, come and follow me as well so as I say it's a bit of a slightly different this video in that that we are being sponsored but um, so I wouldn't say anything that I didn't want to say about this app and it certainly helped down today at Brighton so have you fished Brighton Marina uh, are you a regular here are there anything you can offer uh, viewers as well just to point them in the right direction I know there's some terrific bream fishing here at times is there a chance of conga down the wall side of the wall that's another option I know the place fishing can be really good and the squid here are just ginormous And thanks very much for watching.